and welcome back to the channel. You may have noticed recently that my friend David's back on the channel with his bike, the Aventon or Aventon Adventure. Well, I want to talk a little bit about that uh, bike on this video. And the reason why I want to talk about the bike is that it is currently on sale. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that. But first I wanted to mention that. So David has had his bike for less than a year. Probably something like nine months or ten months. And I believe at the time he purchased his bike, it was, I think it was $2,000. 1999 well the price since then the regular price they've dropped it a couple of hundred dollars at 1799 but right now the bike is currently on sale uh, for 1499 that's a $300 savings and Not only that, but if you purchase a bike, they also have a deal right now going on where if you buy the bike, and you want to purchase a second battery, you can do that for a price of an additional $299, which is crazy good. You're not going to get a battery an e-bike battery for no $299. It's a 48 volt, 15 amp hour battery. So there's no way you're gonna get, the regular price is $500. So for $300, pretty good deal. So basically what they're giving you is the new price of their bike, which is $1799. You're getting the bike and an additional battery for the 1799 I mean this is a great deal so I thought I would mention it to you when I saw this so let's go over some of the specs on the event and adventure so it, it does have a 48 volt 750 watt that is sustained watt power It does have a 48 volt, 15 amp hour battery, but like I say, if you want to pay an additional $299, you can get a second battery. Now the battery that comes with the bike, on the bike, uh, that does have a three amp charger. If you purchase a second battery, you will not get the charger. You'll just get the battery. A lot of times that's what uh companies will do they will they will sell you the battery but the charger would be separate if you wanted to purchase one but still i think it's a great deal so besides the motor and the battery some other features on the bike it does come with hydraulic disc brakes The bike has a capacity weight of 400 pounds. And that is one of the higher numbers you're gonna see out there. I don't know uh, if there's any other bikes that exceed 400 pounds. <clears throat> um, there may be, but uh, electric bikes. But uh, that's right up there, as good as any for that. Some other, uh, let's see if I can remember some other things on the bike. I don't know if the, the $14.99 sale price bike comes with uh, racks because it looked to me like they were selling the racks separately now. I think it's around, now don't quote me on this, but I believe this is the price, uh, 35 for the front rack and 45 for the rear rack. But I, I will leave a link in the descriptions to uh, um, so that you can go and check it out um, 
and check all the specs on the bike and accessories and all that good stuff. The bike, uh, let's see, it comes in three colors. The uh, green is what David has on his bike. It also comes in black and in sand color, which is kind of like a tan color, I guess. Uh, personally, I like his green. I think I would like it in black. That's just a personal uh, choice. But I do like the green. The green looks really cool to me uh, as well. The sand is probably the weaker of the three colors, in my opinion. Uh, let's see, the bike does come in option of step over or step through model. There's also uh, small, medium and large frame size. So if you're a smaller statured person, you could pick the small frame and I think that's supposed to be uh, for folks that are like five foot one. And then it works up to five seven, I think, and five eleven or something. Maybe I'm a little bit off on that, but you can check it out, like I say, in the uh, descriptions, I will leave a link and you can go right directly to their site. But. Uh, Let's see if I can remember anything else. The wheels, I didn't talk about the tire size. They are 26 by four Kenda tires. And David has 520 miles, I believe he said, so far on his event and adventure. And he has uh, still got the original tires on there. It looks like they're gonna go, he thinks they're gonna go another 500 to a thousand miles before he'll have to replace them so that's pretty good so he'll for sure be able to go it looks like another summer here with his before he has to swap them out the bike weight i said the capacity weight being 400 pounds the bike actually weighs 73 pounds which is a pretty good weight that's not overly heavy uh, my Rad Rover is 68 pounds, so that's only five pounds different uh, than the Rad Rover. Uh, Rad Rover 4 is the one I have. Now, as far as pedal assist levels, it does have five pedal assist levels. And when you get the bike, it does come in class two, which is 20 miles per hour, but you can unlock it. To go class three, which will be 30 or uh, 28 miles per hour, and Let's see if I can remember anything else. Uh, the shipping is free, and I believe that's in the... I don't know if that's for all of the U.S. or just the 48, lower 48, and uh, exclude Hawaii and Alaska, but I am not sure on that. You might want to double check on that. Um, pretty good price, though, when you think about it. Uh, I would definitely get the second battery. Speaking of that, so uh, as far as battery uh, distance, they're saying on their site, it looks like, I think it said 18 or 19 miles throttle only with the single battery and up to 45 with pedal assist. And the way I always look at it is I go by this. If say you're throttle only, I always go by amp hour and just to be conservative for every amp hour to me that's a mile so if they if the bike has a battery that is 15 amp hour then I say the bike will go 15 miles on throttle only um, full throttle so and I don't think anybody rides full throttle all the time although I could be wrong that would be really running your bike hard, I would say. And um, <clears throat> so if you got the second battery, there's a pretty good uh, 
bet that you can at least get 30 miles on throttle only and probably get a little more than that so like with this bike here the lyric graffiti which i'm on right now uh it has two batteries at 17.5 amp hour each so combined 35 amp hour that's about what the mileage i expect that i can get out of this bike and i gotta say on this Lyric Graffiti, I do not do any pedaling at all. It's strictly throttle only for me on this bike. So I would be more thinking that I can get 35 miles if I'm out there. That's hopefully on the conservative side and I might be able to get an extra five miles to get to 40. So if you're riding around and you're starting to have anxiety, you're looking at your gauge there and you're seeing that you're down in percentage or voltage then um, you might have a little more juice there uh, be a little conservative and have a little bit of juice to get you home from wherever you're at so but anyway along uh, down the future uh, down the uh, road here I'll probably do a range test which I have not done yet on the uh, graffiti but anyway, um, I think that's most of the specs. I should let you know that there are lights, front and rear lights. I believe there's also signal lights on the Event and Adventure. But for sure there's a headlight, tail lights. It does have a front suspension. It's a hard tail. But I think with those 26 by four tires, that makes up for uh, not having a rear suspension or at least some of it. It's a solid bike and I can attest to it. I've uh, seen David and ridden with him uh, several times on it and I've taken it for a ride myself. And e even the uh, class three, uh, 28 miles per hour is conservative because I can uh, bet you, you'll get that bike over 30 miles an hour because um, I think in the uh, test ride that I did, I got it up to 30 or 31. And I think David set it up into the low, almost to the mid thirties, he said before. So at least 32 miles an hour. So 28 is uh, being conser conservative. I think that bike will go over 30 miles an hour. All right, well, that's going to do it for this video. If you want to leave a comment on this video or any other videos, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much. And if you'd like to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. So once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time. Take care.